The second thing that gets more directly relevant to, to resilience is that if kids are going to grow up to be resilient, what that word is going to imply is that they have some true self-discipline, which means a capacity to bear uh, when things don't go right, when they have made a mistake, when they have to correct something in some way. They're going to need some capacity to do what they don't want to do or to not do something they do want to do. And if that's going to happen, they're going to need to grow up in uh, a situation which gives them first the external structure to do that so they can then internalize it. So what this means is um, that kids are going to need to have some basic clarity about what's negotiable and what isn't, what we do and what we don't do, and they're going to have to have the experience of having to learn from the time they're small and especially as they get older to be able to limit themselves in appropriate ways. And that's also something that happens normally in most households, in different ways, but normally in most households. It's often the source of a lot of friction as the kids get older, and it's sometimes the source of friction between parents about what to do about the kid. <clears throat> but there's no mistaking the fact that kids who grow up in homes where there isn't any of this have a much easier time while they're kids, but a much harder time when they get to be adults. Because they don't have anything in here that says, oh no, I know I can't do that, I have to do you know, that kind of stuff. 